Mind Show. I'm Leslie. Thanks for joining in. If you haven't been before, you're in the best place. It's a really straightforward, easy one. Five questions. Get those fingers warmed up, fast fingers. Get yourself up onto that podium of dreams and woohoo. Yes, it, it could happen to you. Uh, who have I got in here? Hello, hello, hello. Yes. Oh, John and Jean and Valerie. Howdy. Come on, Jeff Keys. Oh, Rebstein, you beauty. Thank you so much. That's really kind. Thank you. Ready with those first fingers and the hot dog legs. Yeah, come on. I'm, I'm. Getting ready. Sumabuki's in. Jeff Keys. SJP Charlie. Suem. More news. Kama TM. Bowls. Svebs. Monkey Paw. Cowboy Weasel. Knowledge is power. Nina and Nina Rich. I know them. Knock Knock. Leone Pony. Mikey. Pocket Merlin. Valerie. Test one, test two. I on ten, ten. Fed up. Annie B. James at the end. Oh yeah, come on. Good morning, Annie B. I bet it's nice and sunny where you are. I tell you, it's pretty chilly here. The good news is though, earlier on I had my coat on because it's so cold and I ain't putting that heating on. Someone knocked on the door saying, uh, someone knocked on the door asking to do a survey. And the good thing was I looked like I was just about to go out. <laughs> so I got out of that one and I went and sat in my car. <laughs> Sumabuki, you beauty. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, and uh, if you haven't been before, it's five questions. It's really simple. It's, you know, we just get going. Five questions. Shall we do it? Ready? Let's do it. Okay. And by the way, yes, I did dress up again. I've got some sparkles going on. For those of you that were worried, you know, that they thought maybe my sparkles, I didn't have any left. I'm starting to rotate now, but you haven't seen this number for a while, so good luck. Okay, question one. I do like to get involved, so hang on. Question one. I'm getting in to this picture. Ooh, I know. Oh, look at this. We really are showing you underneath. Hang on, I'm going to get in. Uh, is that about there? I need my ear in, I think. Is that about there? Okay, the question is, who cut off Paul Medusa's head? Was it Poseidon, Perseus, or Pegasus? Poseidon, Perseus, or Pegasus? Mm, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Mm. Am I in a good position? I can't tell because I'm having to be right over here. It's pretty tricky. Mmm, I'm getting out of there. Don't look at me. You know what? You know what she'd do to you if you look at her. Don't look at me. The answers are in. Ooh, okay. It divided you. You didn't know. The answer, Perseus. There he is, cutting off her with her decapitated head. And then out, as he cut off her head, out popped two sons, Chrysior and Pegasus, uh, and they were the sons with Poseidon. There you go. It's a little Greek trivia there. You are welcome. Eight of you knew that, and I think around 14 of you didn't. Well, well done. Now you know. Perseus. <laughs> uh, I don't know much about Medusa, but apparently I think she was all right. She had a bit of a tough time. She was just, you know, a bit of a monster. Question two, let's keep going. Who does this beard belong to? Kurt Russell, Dick Van Dyke, or George Clooney? Who is it? Kurt Russell, Dick Van Dyke, or George Clooney? Who does it belong to? Ooh, don't worry, in a minute you will know. I know. Highbrow, lowbrow, or beard? <laughs> Ooh, let's reveal the answers. Did you know? Here we go. Here we go. Most of you knew that, of course. No one went for Kurt Russell. 15 of you went for George Clooney. And a few of you thought it could be Dick Van Dyke. I tell you, when I looked at the old beard of Dick Van Dyke, 
Very, very similar, so I'm not surprised. Uh, some people say George Clooney's wife is his beard, but who knows? Keep going. Uh, let's go under the sea. Yeah, we're going back under the sea. Now, if you haven't been here before, or if you have, last week I had my little friend with me. Hello. <laughs> Hello, my little friend. And the question last week was, how many hearts does an octopus have? But today, the question is, how many brains does an octopus have? Seven, eight, or nine? How many brains does an octopus have? Seven, eight, or nine? Ooh, do you know? See, shouldn't be eating them, guys, because it's at least seven. Or is it eight? Or is it nine? Well, in just a moment, you will know. Of course... Did you know? Ooh, most of you went for eight. It's actually nine. So one big brain head and then eight that operate the arms. So it's nine. You learned something here today. I thought a lot of you might know that. But yeah, nine brains. I, it's just proof we should not be eating a nine brained animal. Let's go to the leaderboards. Let's have a look. The leaderboard. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, here we go. Look, nine. All in a row. Uh, let's go. Of course, at the top. Where else would they be? It's SJP right at the top. Rebstein. Nice picture in second. Jeff Keys in third. Test one, test two. Annie B. Monkey Paw. Mike E. Slebs. Chantilly. Omi Wynn. Sue M. James. Charlie. Cowboy Weasel. Nina Rich. Valerie. Leone Pony. Fed Up. Sumo Buki. Knowledge is Power. Bowl. Kama TM. Very nice. That leaderboard is looking good. You know it can change. We've got two questions left. Oh, Annie B, you knew it. You misclicked. See? See? It can all, you know, wars have been lost and won with the click of a finger. I'm going with that. <laughs> Let's keep going. Okay. Question four. I think it's four. Let's go with four. It is. Question four. Ooh, here we go. This is a Singapore sling. The question is, what's the main alcohol in here? Vodka, gin or martini? Vodka, gin or martini? What's the main alcohol in a Singapore sling? And I know there'll be someone out there, maybe Valerie saying, and maybe Mike saying, hang on a minute, I've been to raffles in Singapore. I've had a little, I've had a little Singapore sling and it was made from Yes, most of you knew gin is the main, gin is the main uh, alcohol in a Singapore sling. And that was the Raffles Hotel is where it was invented. There you go. Uh, last question. Hang on, I'm going to get a little bit Christmassy here. Let's do it. Last question. Oh, check me. Here we go. The question is, Christmas Island is a territory of which country? Is it the Philippines, Indonesia, or Australia? Christmas Island is a territory of which country? Philippines, Indonesia, or Australia? Ooh, if you didn't know, you will know soon. Get ready. You will know shortly. 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 If you didn't know already. Here we go. Let's get yours in. Most of you knew. It's Australia, of course. Did that change the leaderboard? Ooh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Who's at the top? Who's, is it coming through? It is coming through. Of course. They're not moving. SJP at the top, well done. It's test one, test two, and second. Third, Chantilly. Fourth, Rebstein. Fifth, Jeff Keys. Annie B, James, Sue M, Obi Wins, Svebs, Charlie, Cowboy Weasel, Monkey Paw, Mikey, Nina Rich, Super Buki, Knowledge is Power, Bowl, Valerie, Leone Pony, Fed Up. Nice one. Well done, everyone. That's it.
You did it. You did it. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll be back. I might be back on Friday or it might be sometime next week. Uh, what I will tell you is 8.45 GMT, 8.45 tonight, UK time. Tonight, it's the third game of Lazy Golf. Please join in. It's knock, knock. So same thing. Click on here. Pr super duper prizes to be won and lots of fun. One click. So get that get that special click going. Uh, tell Junior hi from us. I will, Jeff Keys. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, so it's just let's let's wave you out in Christmas spirit. Where I need to go. Put put me in a Christmas tree. Oh, here we go. <laughs> There we go. I'm on the Christmas tree. Hey! <laughs> Merry Christmas. Whatever you do at this time of year, I hope you have a good one. Enjoy. Have lots of fun. Take it easy. Oh, Charlie, thank you so much.